Hey folks, Schneider here. Guess what? We have a new uh, top Dukes of Hazard question that I'm going to answer for you right now. Okay, the question is, how come in the beginning of the show, uh, Bo drove almost all of the time, and then as we went on, it seemed to be kind of an arbitrary event where we'd run up to the police station, I'd be driving, we'd get out, we'd go see Roscoe and Boss, we'd run back out, and then Luke would jump in the driver's seat for no reason, without me yelling shotgun or anything like that. Well, in the beginning, the mythology of Dukes has Bo as the driver and Luke as the crew chief, okay? That's an important designation. Isn't it pretty out here today? That's an important designation. Um, but when we filmed, we had a second unit, so we had stunt guys out there, and um, they needed to know if... if <laughs> You'll notice that more mistakes happened toward the end of Dukes of Hazard, where I'd jump in the driver's seat, and then we'd haul ass down the road, and then we'd cut inside the car, and Tom would be driving, or the other way around. That happened quite a few times toward the end of our run. So in the beginning, they knew that Bo was driving, so they knew that the stunt man had to wear a yellow shirt and a yellow wig, unless it was Al Wyatt uh, or Jack Gill, because they already had blonde hair. But they would go sit in the driver's side, and then they'd, they'd drive by left to right. They'd drive by right to left. Uh, they'd jump a car, and they always knew in the beginning that the yellow shirt needed to be on the driver. Okay? So they could cut, then they could use uh, any jump, any time, uh, and it always worked. By the way, we did not reuse jumps until later. That's a whole other, uh, until later, like with the reunion shows, that's a whole other thing. Uh, Warner Brothers wouldn't, uh, wouldn't pay for, the, uh, for new jumps. But the beginning, yellow shirt, always, it was easy. Uh, they knew that yellow shirt was driving, uh, blue jean jacket or the plaid shirt, which you could get away with one or the other, uh, would always be in the passenger seat, uh, unless the script called for Daisy being in the passenger seat or Daisy driving the car. But those were uh, exceptions to the rule. Okay. Then later, um, I think people were saying, how come Luke doesn't drive? You know, Luke should drive. So Warner Brothers um, got... I want to say sloppy. They decide, they, they was, like I said, there was never any rhyme or reason. All of a sudden, we'd run out of the farmhouse and, and Luke would drive, which is fine. But there was never any indication. And I, I think Tom and I tried to occasionally do like shotgun. Um, but once they started that, then... At the very least, what it did is it doubled up the work on second unit with regard to the drive-bys. Because now, every time they did a drive-by with the yellow shirt left to right, they had to do a drive-by with the plaid shirt left to right. Same thing, they'd go right to left, pl uh, plaid shirt, right to left, uh, yellow shirt. They were a little more strict when it came to who's driving when we jump because they didn't want to jump twice, obviously. Um, so that's what happened. And that's also why many times in the last couple of years of Dukes, um, there'd be a mistake. I'd run in and out of the courthouse, jump in the driver's seat, and then you'd cut to us inside the car and Tom would be driving. Uh, that happened a lot. That happened a lot because it became a continuity issue because of those two shirts. So really they should have stuck to it the other way or they should have decided in this episode, Luke will drive. But they didn't do that. It was kind of arbitrary. Uh, and when you do that, you, you set yourself up for some mistakes. I don't like changing wardrobe in movies at all. I don't change at all. Uh, except I put this jacket on once in, um, in Stand On It. I don't change at all in uh, Christmas cars, except I take this jacket off once. I don't change at all in inadmissible. Um, and case in point, we had one wardrobe change, one, in Anderson Bench, and we got it wrong. And no one has mentioned it to me, but when I watch Anderson Bench, it is such a glaring 
mistake. It drives me crazy because getting it wrong once meant that it shifted back and forth several times during the movie from a plaid shirt to a yellow, like Izod shirt, drives me crazy. So you won't see me changing clothes in, uh, in movies. You sure won't see me changing clothes and stand on it, except for the jacket. All right, so there it is. That's the reason why Tom, uh, uh, Tom, it's not really the reason why Tom drove, but it's the reason why it was difficult uh, once that happened. Legacy of Dukes, Bo was a driver, Luke was a crew chief, so, and the mechanic. Uh, so that's really where that came from and why that was like that. And you'll remember in, uh, in One Armed Bandits, Luke loaned his car to Cooter. So Luke had a car other than the General Lee, and the General Lee in the beginning, at least in the, the first episode, was Bo's car. I just really learned that yesterday, and I was there. All right, folks, you take care. Keep the questions coming, and I will see you down the road. Watch you some Dukes and see if you can see uh, uh, mistakes. Also, uh, Anderson Bench is not for kids. There is a censored version. So if you want to watch it with somebody under 16, I don't recommend it, but if you have to, get the censored version and see if you can't see what I'm talking about with regard to uh, our mistake. All right? And then watch Inadmissible, also not for kids. That movie, you'll see why it was so important for me to just keep my uh, my seersucker suit on. I looked a lot like, um, oh, what was that great Andy Griffith show? Um, not McLeod. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, the great Andy Griffith show where he played a lawyer. What was the Andy Griffith show where he played a lawyer? Matlock. Matlock. Yeah. Kind of like Matlock in there. Anyway, you guys and girls, take care. If you like this, hit the bell. Somebody tells me there is no bell anymore. I think it's there. Subscribe to my channel. Go get a hold of Stand On It if you haven't yet. It's up for rental right now. Um, CineflixDOD.com. That's CineflixDOD.com. Or get you a DVD. Why not? Go to JohnSchneiderStudios.com. I appreciate it. Um, I truly don't see a... Uh, a button. Yes, the bell is there. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Rebel Rose Jade. There's Mr. Brody. <clears throat> and there we go. Hey, everybody. There, I guess, I guess, there. Oh, no, look at this. Whoa, that's not the button. What in the world is that? Ooh, I'm dreamy now. <gasps> You know, I had this dream that Tom was driving the car, and then I got in, and I was driving. Okay, enough of that. You guys take care. Bye. Yes, I want to stop before I make a bigger fool of myself. Bell is for notifications. Excellent. Also, I think the bell will tell you anytime I'm uh, live or anytime I post a new video. Okay, I don't want to stop. Let's just see what happens here. Get rid of that. I already, Rob, I already answered that question. Make a bigger fool of yourself. It's fun. Puppy dogs! Puppy dogs! Hello, Dixie chick. What about Dolly Doo? Hello, Dolly Doo. Where are you? Dolly Doo! Where's Dukas? So we have to go in and we're going to do a, uh, we're doing some stuff for, for uh, Carl at Speedway Magazine, right? Dix! Dukas! Okay, you all take care. Uh, no, our world, you know, the world, the world will only change if you allow it. Don't allow the world to be the dog and you the tail. We are not a, a we are not the tail of the dog, okay? We don't just do what the world says. We don't just go whichever the way, whichever way the world tells us. Not if you are a free-thinking, free person. You must not be the tail. You must be the dog. Okay? It's a choice. So don't go yelling at the world for changing, because if you've changed, you're part of the problem. Don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Absolutely. If things are happening that you do not accept, and I'm quite sure that there are things happening that you do not accept, then the first 
way, uh, the first order of business in order to change them is not to go out and change somebody else because guess what? You can't, but you can change you. Okay? So change you. If there's something in your world that you do not like, that you are not in favor of, don't blame it on someone else and don't say we've come into a blah, blah, blah time. No, don't allow it. Under any circumstances, do not allow it. Don't give up your right for peaceful assembly. Don't give up your freedom of speech. Don't give up your Second Amendment right. If you are a fan of the Second Amendment right, don't give it up. If you are not, then no one is telling you to go buy a gun. Okay? You don't have to, just as those of us in favor of it do not have to get rid of them. It's a free country. Okay? Wow, this got off on a tangent. All right. You guys and girls take care. Uh, facts and evidence... I do take my own advice, River Mercy. I do change myself. And if you're indicating that I don't and I haven't and I don't take my own advice, I suggest you leave this channel because you're incorrect. Okay. Guys and girls, take care. Boss Hog for Mayor. Hi, everybody. All right, folks. I got to go. We're going to go do some uh, videos for our friends at uh, Speedway Magazine. And uh, thank you for loving my music. Yes, I do own guns. Uh, I got one for Christmas. An alternative rifle, 15, was great. Um, all right. Yeehaw! Take care. Bye. I can't. <laughs> there it is. Yes, I'm sure. Bye.